was regarding Surah Kahf, chapter number 18, verse number 86, that Zulkar name sees the sun setting in murky water, in turbid water. Imagine sun setting in murky water, unscientific. The Arabic word used here is, it is wajada, meaning it appeared to Zulkar name. And not William Campbell knows Arabic. So wajada means, if you look up in the dictionary also, it means it appeared. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is describing what appeared to Zulkarnain. If I make a statement that the student in the class said 2 plus 2 is equal to 5. And you say, oh, Zakir said 2 plus 2 is equal to 5. I didn't say. I'm telling the student in my class said 2 plus 2 is equal to 5. I'm not wrong. The student is wrong. There are various ways to try and analyze this verse. One is this way according to Muhammad Asad. That Wajada means it appeared to. It appeared to Zulkarnain. Point number two. The Arabic word used is Maghrib. It can be used for time as well as place. When we say sunset, sunset can be taken for time. If I say the sun sets at 7 p.m., I'm using it for time. If I say the sun sets in the west, it means I'm taking it for place. So here if you use the word Maghrib for time, so Zulkar name not reach that place of sunset, use it at time. He reached at the time of sunset. The problem is solved. Furthermore, you can solve it in various ways. Even if Dr. William Campbell says, no, no, the basic assumption is too much. It is not appeared to, it is actually this. Let's analyze it further. The Quranic verse says, the sun set in murky water. Now we know, when we use these words, like sunrise and sunset, does the sun rise? Scientifically, the sun does not rise. Neither does the sun set. We know scientifically the sun does not set at all. It is the rotation of the earth which gives rise to sunrise and sunset. But yet, you read in the everyday papers mentioning sunrise at 6 a.m., sunset at 7 p.m. Oh, the newspapers are wrong, unscientific. <laughs> if I use the word disaster, oh, there's a disaster. Disaster means there's some calamity which has taken place. Literally, disaster means an evil star. So when I say this disaster, everyone knows what I mean is a calamity, not about the evil star. Dr. William Campbell and I know when a person who's mad, we call him a lunatic. Yes or no? At least I do. And I believe Dr. William Campbell also will be doing that. We call a person a lunatic. He's mad. What is the meaning of lunatic? It means struck by the moon. But that is how the language has evolved. Similarly, sunrise is actually, it is just a usage of word. And Allah has given the guidance for the human beings also. He uses so that we understand. So it is just sunrise. Not that it is actually setting. Not the sun is actually rising. So this explanation clearly gives us a clear picture that the verse of the Quran of Surah Kahaf, chapter 18, verse number 86, is not in contradiction with established science. That is the way how people speak. The conflict approach with the Quran. Because irrespective of whether you use the conflict approach or the concordance approach. The ayah I quoted in the beginning of my talk, Surah Nisa chapter 4 verse 82 says, أَفَلَا يَتَدَبْرُونَ الْقُرَانَ وَلَوْ قَانَ مِنْ إِنْ دِغَرِ اللَّهِ لَوَجُدِ فِي اِقْتِلَافًا كَثِيرًا Do they not consider the Quran with care? Had it been for many one besides Allah, there would have been many contradictions. Irrespective whether you use the conflict approach or the concordance approach, if you are logical, you will not be able to take out a single verse of the Quran which is contradicting, neither a single verse which is against established science.